Hi viewers, you're watching the Glendale Center Theater Show. Today I have a special guest, Steven, who might be a familiar face if you guys have seen Annie, or if you haven't. Come see it. Yeah, come see it. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. So, is this your first time in a Glendale um, Center Theater production? Yes, it is. It is my first time in a Glendale Center Theater production. Um, just started uh, doing some theater uh, recently, uh, taking voice lessons and things like that for the past two years. So I haven't acted in a while, so it is my first production uh, that I've been doing here at the Glendale Center Theater. Okay, and how did you hear about the Glendale Center Theater? Uh, I just kind of did a lot of research online, you know, once I started uh, taking voice lessons, kind of uh, researching the different theaters that were in the area that I could maybe audition for someday, and came across uh, Glendale Center Theater and decided to um, and there you are, right? And here I am. So, uh, before you auditioned and became in a show here, have you, did you see any shows here, or you haven't? I did. I saw Nonsense here, and I saw um, a friend of mine was in an acting class, and she was in To Kill a Mockingbird, which was several years back. Oh, okay. So that's how I got introduced to the theater. Uh, many years ago, and uh, just kind of always remember that it was here, and I saw Annie Get Your Gun three or four years ago, and then I saw uh, Nonsense uh, this past spring. So Nonsense, Mother Superior was Zoe Bright. Right? That's right. And she was yeah. she's also the director, and she worked really hard on Annie, and that's how Annie started, right? That's yep. how Annie that's came it. together with the whole Yeah, I, I was on the mailing list, and they um, encouraged us to come uh, see the director of Annie in Nonsense. So uh, I came to see the show and as a compliment from the theater and uh, saw Zoe, who's the director of Annie in Nonsense, and then uh, came and auditioned. And you got the part. And I got the part. <laughs> so uh, what character are you playing in Annie? And Annie I play Drake the Butler, and I'm also in the ensemble as well. So I do a lot of the musical numbers, uh, Hooverville, uh, but the main character is Drake. And um, so yeah. Okay. So, for tickets, you could call the box office at 818-244-8481. Can you believe Can you believe that there's only two weeks left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's sad. It's kind of like, um, ran for seven weeks, and we are in our fifth weekend right now. So come see the show. We've got two weekends left after this weekend. And, uh, I can't believe how time flies. I flies by very fast. So. Christmas Carol auditions are starting so <laughs> We're already getting into Christmas, but... Um, there is a new deal for Christmas, so if you guys like Christmas, they can come out and see. There's a Christmas tree, there's Christmas socks. Mm -hmm. You can come out and see. Okay, so why don't we take a brief commercial break so our viewers can learn more about the upcoming productions for this year. Okay. So, the upcoming productions are The Ghost of Mrs. Muir, that will be after Annie, Blind Spirit, and A Christmas Carol, and Zoe Bright, who's the director. Annie also is going to direct Blind Spirit. Okay. okay. Sounds great. Okay. We'll be right back, okay? okay. The Glendale Center Theater has been entertaining people from all over the world since 1947. The rest of our show season is full of blockbusters. Annie the Musical, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, Polite Spirit, and of course our annual production of A Christmas Carol. We hope you join us for each and every production of our 2019 season. See you at the theater! <laughs> After Annie, sadly, our Annie will be finished in two weeks, but, mm -hmm. but happily there's more productions here at the Glendale Center Theater. So, um, Steve, at first, when you heard about the Glendale Center Theater, and you saw the characters breakdown by Annie, so why did you choose that you wanted to play Drake? How did it feel? Well, it actually uh, is fitting for me as a person, because I'm very much like Drake, the character in real life, as you see me backstage very often. Yeah. So um, it was just a, a good fit for me. I'm an interior designer during the day. I work with um, many different clients uh, that have staff. Uh, so I get to experience that when I go to their house and see how the staff interacts with, the, uh, with my clients. Uh, I have a 
the chefs and cooks and uh, not necessarily have butlers any longer, but they have house managers. So I get to see how they interact with the staff during the day and kind of bring that into my character at night. So. And an actor at night, right? And an actor at night. So. Cool. Okay, great. So, yeah, Stephen actually does a lot of work backstage. I'm the backstage manager. I never announced that officially on the show, even though I have an, uh, interviewed many, many actors. But yeah, uh, Stephen helps a lot backstage. Mm -hmm. If we could show the picture, you could see the picture on your screen. He's fixing the Christmas tree. Big seat backstage. Oh, it's funny because I always say, like, see, Steven, you're not only working on stage, you're working backstage too. Yeah. Because Drake he cleans the mansion and also backstage. Yeah. Great, but. Yeah, I just, um, it's just my nature. So, and I like to help you out. I know you're yeah. busy up back there yeah. and, and it's very, um, can be hectic at times backstage. So, it's good to have someone like you and like me that are back there making sure that all the props are in their places they get back, put back into place, uh, making yeah. sure that the Christmas lights work every night, so, you know, so it's a lot of backstage uh, that goes on behind the scenes that the, the uh, audience isn't seeing, but we have to prepare and set up the sets and yeah. put them in order before they come out, and mm -hmm. I'm just the type of person that wants them to be in the correct order when they come out. So. <laughs> How are rehearsals for you? How did how did they change you from beginning to the end of the show? It's it's very good. It's a, it's a process. You know, we start knowing nothing pretty much, just knowing a little bit about the show or the character that we've studied for the auditions, and then um, we're in a rehearsal hall for five weeks, and we don't get to on the stage until the sixth week. So we um, and then that's called tech week. So we've got lights and we've got costumes and we've got uh, sound and sound checks and microphones and so so that's our first week after five weeks in a rehearsal studio. So it's um, it's a fun process and it's it's very gradual and you know it's uh, you just have to trust the choreographer and the director and then it's all going to come together at the very end and it does and it did so um, come see the show and you'll see the results. So. Great, we have a couple of good productions next year. All of our productions are going to be great, but which ones are you planning to audition for? I would like to audition for uh, Bright Star. I've seen it a couple times and have fallen in love with it and would love to be in that show as well as um, there's a production of Dance at Sea that there's a role that I would be interested in playing. I do need to uh, brush up on my uh, tap skills because it's a big tap show number. So um, we'll see about that. And then I... Um, Are you planning for Christmas Carol or no? No, I'm not going to plan for Christmas Carol because I, I go home at Christmas time. So it'd be challenging me for it to be here. And, um, oh, so you don't live in the area? I don't live in the area, no. So. Oh, so where do you live? In? I live in the Midwest. Oh, okay. So I go home every Christmas to see my family. So we have a special actor all over from the area. <laughs> there you go. So, so, I mean, I live in the area now, but uh, my family is all back in the Midwest. So. Okay, great. Thank you so much for coming. All right, thanks. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. Uh, and thank you. Taking time out of this interview. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon at the Bandos Area Theater. Call it 1824484 right now. Pick up the phones because there's only two weeks left. Two weeks left. Come see the show. Great, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. Yeah, John Bunch, that will be the way